I actually did feel very guilty. I had a lot of inner conflict for many years when I first began the sport. I felt that I was maybe going against my religion and it really, really used to tear me apart. At the same time, I loved the sport and I couldn't understand how that could be wrong. I realised that I was living a double life. You know, one that was a nice traditional girl at home and the other where I used to come to the gym and that was another side of me. I remember the first time I walked into the gym, I was 18 years of age. It was quite a male-dominated environment, but none of that faced me. All I wanted to do was participate in the sport. Muay Thai originally was designed as a warfare art by the Thais. They used to use it to defend their country. It's known as the art of eight limbs. It's full speed, full pace, full power and it's one of the hardest sports in the world, so it can be quite intimidating. I actually began my sport training with Bill. He's actually become like, like a father figure to me. He's took me under his wing. At the same time, he puts on his coach hat. He means business. I can't come up with excuses. I can't moan about that I'm in pain or I'm having a bad day. When you're in training mode, you're in training. The fact that I come from a traditional Muslim background, it's quite unusual to pursue a sport such as Muay Thai. I was afraid that my family might tell me sport or them. I remember coming home one day and my father looked at me and he said to me, why do you walk like a boxer? At that point, I was so frightened that the sport would be taken away from me. I ran up to my room, I had one trophy. I hid that because I thought that's the one key that gave it away that I might be doing boxing. I decided to tell them and I brought my father down to the gym to reassure him that all I was doing was exercising some discipline in my life rather than being out on the street, getting involved with things that I shouldn't be. Just knowing that they know what I'm doing in my spare time, that's enough for me to continue and make them proud. I don't want to walk away sitting in the changing room crying my eyes out thinking I could have done better. Oh, actually, I had it in me to win that fight, but I gave up. It's just me against her. Forget about her coaches, forget about her supporters. It's all about what I can do in these 10 minutes of my life. You don't really have time for nerves. All you're thinking about is your next strike, your strategy, is it working, is it not? Am I hurting my opponent? Am I winning the fight? Or what do I need to change? So it's very tactical. Obviously, if you get caught with a nasty shot, you're trying to phase that out very quickly and get back onto your game plan. To win a fight is one of the most amazing feeling in the world. It just reassures you that all that hard work, all that sacrifice, everything that everyone around you, the team around you, the nutritionists, your training partners, all those nights training, sparring, going home with bruises, all that is worthwhile. Talent 
alone is not enough. It's all about sacrifice. It's all about being dedicated. And it's never the end until you give up.